My room's been the clubhouse yeah. as of late. I've we never had it. the cool room before. We set up a tattoo shop that I'm still waiting to use. You know, Ryan's gonna tattoo me tomorrow. We sketched this weird thing on a scrap piece of paper the other day. It's gonna be a gangster alien, and he's gonna have a little Saturn gold chain hanging. My clients get these like beautiful stencils, and DJ gets this piece of scrap paper that was meant for the garbage. I can't go that long without creating, and it doesn't even have to be a tattoo. Oh. You just have to create something sometimes, you know I, what I mean? I like, get urges, just like, boop, and then I'll just like, I don't know, whatever, dude, make something out of it's not, nothing. And even if it's something completely ridiculous, you know, you're making pancakes in the morning and you want to make like, you know, see if you could do pancake art just for fun, like crazy shit, you know, just, it's a lifestyle. This is what I look like according to DJ. Definitely a resemblance. I love to cook. I also like to make music, so I'd probably lean more towards that route. I actually had a whole nother career before I tattooed. I worked in the fashion industry for years. I was a designer that designed all the like embroidery and beadwork and applique and say like I'd go into work and, and they'd be like, okay, so we have this jean jacket and we need this like jeweled flower coming off the shoulder. My job was to basically sit there with beads and hand design these cool intricate, you know, patterns and motifs and stuff, so I would definitely go back to that. I design the same shit now, it's just, you know, in someone's skin instead of like on top of a piece of fabric. When I started tattooing, I just kind of translated that aesthetic. I came into it experimental. Like I started tattooing myself, just didn't care what the hell I was doing on myself. And then I got, you know, I started in a shop when I was 17, just letting my coworkers just do shit all over me. I didn't really care. I just wanted coverage. Even back then, I just wanted coverage. But I remember all the moments of it, and it doesn't have to be a good tattoo. That's what I like about tattoos. Is like I like weird and wonky shit, and I don't, I don't really care as long as I rem remember the moment. So it goes like this, right? You want to get a tattoo, and you want to get your first one. You don't know what you're looking for. You don't know what makes a good tattoo. You don't know who's good and who's not. You walk in and you get tattooed by whoever is available right there, then and there at the moment. You know, especially teenagers. As kids, you don't want to wait. And then you get a couple shitty ones, and you realize what's good and what's not good. You start opening your eyes to the world of tattooing and you start, you know, becoming a connoisseur of sorts. And then you get a good tattoo. And then the door is just open. But it sucks because you're already littered in garbage. And when I was an apprentice, I tattooed the shit out of myself. I did so many of my own tattoos because I wanted to know what it felt like when I tattooed. I, want to, I wanted to feel like what different techniques felt like, all that shit, how my tattoos heal on myself. And then I let a bunch of my friends do a bunch of stupid, terrible little jammers. The point I'm at now is my favorite tattoos are those dumb little jammers. My favorite tattoos are those stupid little shitty memory tattoos because every single one, you know, when somebody asks you about it, you relive that crazy day, that crazy moment, that experience, the closeness you had with those people, you know. I am bummed that I'm littered in garbage though. That still sucks. I book my appointments a month in advance. Like I only book one month at a time because I travel so much. If I book people and then I have to reschedule them, that sucks. I know what it's like to have a tattoo or cancel on me because you're so stoked about the appointment and you're so looking forward to it. And getting that call that it's canceled is a shitty feeling. So I don't book that far in advance because I don't want to have to cancel people and my life is just too crazy right now. I book myself out at the most probably six months. You know, I don't like to schedule my whole life so you guys can always get in. If you have a cool idea, you're gonna jump way ahead of the pack. So if you wanna get in my books, you just need you know, cooler ideas and uh, you know, let me be a little more free.